Hey everyone, Alex Roy here, your trusted John L. Scott Realtor in Eastside Portland, coming to you with another weekly walkthrough, and boy am I excited to show you this one. We're just at 3653 Southeast Gladstone, so just inside of 39th and just a little bit north of Reed College. And the thing I really am excited to tell you about, about this house is that it has an ADU. I'm always talking about houses and showing houses that are uh, fixers. They've got extra space in the basement or the backyard and I say it has ADU potential. But what does that mean? Now I get to show you. To give you some stats on the house, it's over 3,000 square feet. In total, it's got six bedrooms, three bathrooms, lots there, and then they divided it up in that the main floor and the upstairs are unit A, 3653A, and then the basement, which has two bedrooms and one bathroom, which is the ADU, is 3653B. It's not a duplex, still a single family dwelling, but it's got that ADU that you could rent out or use for guests that are staying with you. All right, let's go in and check it out. It's an old house, 1912, totally restored. Right away, you can see that the deck has all been redone, repainted, and the exterior with its original wood finishes and trims, all repainted. Inside, every surface has been touched. I'm gonna to move pretty quickly through the house. You can see all the walls, floors, that's all new. It's a new wood fireplace, uh, at least the mantle and what they put in, uh, in place for it is all nice and fresh. And look at your exposed beams. I'm not sure if, the, uh, if these are original and restained or if they were added in. I, I want to assume that they are original, but it's such a great touch to keep with the house or to have in place. All the windows, also new, helping with the energy score of the home. Kitchen. It's a very open floor concept, as you can tell. The living room feeds right into a di dining room, right into the kitchen that has the marble top and matching nice white cabinets, fresh new appliances. And I love this Samsung double door fridge. Hey, if you got a Samsung phone, why not have the matching refrigerator for it? Boom, opens right up. Love that, gorgeous. And then this all flows to an extra back area. It could be your breakfast nook area. It could be an open at home office or work area or craft area with the French doors that open onto your new deck. Many, many new surfaces and features of this house. Well, in the backyard, I just wanted to show you here, there's actually quite a bit of land to this house. If we're to look down here, the property line appears to go right on out to here. So you've got all this side of the yard that at the moment feels unused, but you add in a fence along this side and you've got usable yard, maybe a dog run, a lot of extra area for the dog to be. And then if you wanted to add a little bit more extra value to the ADU, if it's being used as a rental, since the access to the basement and the ADU's external access is over on this side of the house, you could probably build a fence right here and give a separate private yard for that ADU unit. Just a few thoughts that I'm popping off the top of my head. Hey, if you've got any thoughts about what you would like to do to this property, leave a comment. I love to hear those. Okay, let's check out the upstairs. You'll notice as we're heading upstairs, narrow stairway, another telling sign that this was a 1912. They don't make stairways that narrow anymore. Up here, you've got two bedrooms. There's two bedrooms on the main, two bedrooms up here, and another full bath. I love this beautiful shower that they put in. Great tile and the stone on the uh, base of the uh, uh, shower insert. Looks great. And lots of room, very spacious in this bathroom. Across we have one small bedroom. It's a cute little bedroom. And then the larger, what would be considered master bedroom with Closets on both sides, you got a his and hers, and window overlooking Gladstone. It's a great view out. It's got a little overhang though to block out some of the intense midday summer heat. All right, let's boogie downstairs. When you don't have the music, you gotta make your own. All right. Don't want to forget about this is your main floor laundry area. Place for your washer and dryer. 
and then around back into the living room over to the side. It gives me an opportunity to point out that they have a Nest system installed on the home to control your heat right from your phone. And then down this way of the hall, we have bedroom number three, if you're keeping track, bedroom number three. Once again, just every surface in the home has been touched. Every surface in the home has been touched. New windows, walls, carpet. Our bathroom on the main, which is private from the, you know, separated from the dining room and the living room by this hallway, which is nice to not have it immediately off of those areas. We've got the bathroom right there. Nice tile work in the tub area and great vanity. And then your uh, fourth bedroom. Now let's jump outside and go on in the ADU as if it was your tenant that you'd rented out to and they're coming inside. Let's check that out. You'll also notice that they have, there is no driveway for this home, but they've built something of a driveway entrance and a little parking stall here on the stones. And coming back along the side of the house, you can see how they've dug out a window well here next to this window to give proper egress. This is what's necessary to have living space in a basement to be able to call that a bedroom down there. They have to be able to dig this out so that they've got the proper escape in case of a fire. And then here's the door to our 3653B. Coming in down these stairs. When we turn to our left, you've got your one bathroom here. Remember, this is a two bedroom, one bathroom house. Here's your bathroom with shower insert and vanity. Bedroom number one with once again, dugout window, closet space, ceiling height feels pretty good. And then coming around to the front, some more storage and then bedroom number two. A decent sized room, not bad. Good rental space and finally the kitchen. Many times when you see some of these ADUs added into a basement, it's just a hot plate sitting on a counter, nothing fancy, but this has proper uh, free range stove, oven, uh, the microwave and the refrigerator all ready to go. You're right next to the college and so this has really good rental potential. But what if you didn't want this to be a rental? You've got a large family, multi-generational living, all these things, the two are combined. They're not totally separate. They are connected by this stairway and a doorway back into the main unit. So if you want for the price tag of just over $600,000, $615, you have a six bedroom, three bathroom house. So that's the weekly walkthrough for this week. If you want to tour this house yourself, check it out, maybe get some ideas for a project that you're working on, or you know someone who, you know, just can't doesn't have the funds to buy a $600,000 house, but if they can show the rental income from this property and that would bump them up to it, this is just the type of house they're looking for. Uh, if you've got more questions about that, I'm glad to refer you some lenders. I've got lots of great mortgage brokers that can help you make a good decision on your financing. As always, if you like this video, share it with somebody that you like, someone that you love, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page. I'm Alex Roy, trusted John L. Scott Realtor in Eastside Portland, working hard for your success.